nice and sturdy. And what is going on, Hanfam? Hope you have a great morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it sounds watching this video. Hope you're having a great day. Um, welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't been to the channel yet, drop a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and you're a part of the Ham Fam now, the best fam. Merch is dropping soon. I haven't told anybody yet, but that is the big announcement. Uh, the hats and shirts are getting done as we speak, like right now, like right now, right now. But uh, today's purpose of the video is I'm going to be telling you all about why you need jam handles okay so you ever you know you ever get annoyed when you just wash your fresh paint you know what i'm saying you wash your truck someone does this little grimy deed right here you know what i'm saying like oh uh, all over your paint especially black trucks not my truck as much as such as a black or blue or red truck something like that but you definitely see the uh fingerprints and it's not good so these bad boys shout out to chad for a jam handle these bad boys are amazing they're called jam handles and i had them on my last build and uh, what they essentially do is, for this door right here, I'm gonna have to uh, wipe down, get this glue stuff off, but you essentially just wipe down the excess dirt or debris on your door, and then you apply this just like that, and then you just close it like that right there. So it saves you a lot of time and, you know, pain trying to freaking detail your truck all the time or a car i'm pretty sure these fit on cars as well uh, as long as you have a good enough gap between the uh indention of the door and then the clearance right here and this little rubber grommet uh you should be pretty straight uh it's pretty straightforward uh, installation but um i love them uh i actually been wanting them for a while so once again thanks chad uh for hopping on the build with me i really appreciate that so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the back door first, and then uh, I'll do this door last because it's gonna take the longest, but let's get it. All right, so I got the three holder for the uh, rear doors, and we're just gonna wipe down all the dirt and whatnot right here. Okay, now it has 3M back tape, so you know it's some good stuff, if that's the case. Look at that. Comes off really smooth. Uh, really good product. They have really upgraded their quality since the last time I bought one of these. Uh, honestly, they really have. But put that right there, and then we'll find a nice little spot. That should be good right here. All right. Let's see if you can see that. Boom! There it is. Nice and sturdy. And it doesn't hit anything. Nice. Once again. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm just going to repeat that process on the other three doors. And uh, I'm going to give it with you as soon as I get done. Sneak peek at all the performance upgrades. Let's go. PPE three inch downpipe just arrived. Got the PPE race fuel plug, beans diesel sump, and the Air Dog 165 and the LB7 uppipe. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do the LB7 uppipe for now. I'm gonna wait until I get the, uh, I don't wanna do the factory wire bridge pipe. I just wanna do the upgraded one. So I'm gonna have to wait till. I get about $700 saved up just for that part. Uh, could get it now, but I really don't feel like it. Uh, it's not really a necessity right now. I'm really trying to get this rear axle seal still fixed. So I'm gonna worry about that first. And then after that, we can definitely do the um, LB7 up pipe. But I definitely am probably just gonna do the three inch down pipe uh, by itself. I'm not just gonna wait and do it all at once like I wanted to. I'll just go ahead and do it by itself. So that'll be that. Thank you. 
boom. So as you guys can see, that is a very simple installation and a very helpful product. Uh, if you or anybody you know would like these products, uh, they're going to be in the description below. So uh, for sure, check them out. Uh, tell them it's Ham sent you. Uh, really nice company, really nice people to work with. And I really, really appreciate it, Chad, once again. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was a short video, but guess what? The next one is definitely going to be the race fuel plug installation. I'm trying to get that puppy done tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, Wednesday. But I think Wednesday, me and Cameron are finally doing the uh, installation for the one thing I had something going on this weekend, so we couldn't do the air dog, unfortunately, in the sump. But uh, the gas or the fuel tank is that quarter tank, so. You know what that means. Yep, it is coming very soon, boys and girls. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It really means a lot. And until next time.